at the East Village. We're going to walk around, check out some vintage stores, get an iced coffee, and get a Kanish from Yona Shimmel Kanishri. Mud Park LES is a kiosk located within First Park on East First Street at First Avenue. It's part of Mud Coffee, which was founded in 2001 by husband and wife team Greg Northrup and Nina Burrow, who began selling their own blend of coffee out of a converted Con Ed step van known as the Mud Truck, which was parked at Astor Place in East Village. Julie's Vintage on East 2nd Street near 1st Avenue not only has a traditional storefront, but its stock of clothing, vinyl records, jewelry, housewares, and costumes also spills out along the sidewalk leaning from the store all the way to the corner at 1st Avenue. When we spoke with the owner, Julie Ehrink, she told us that she wouldn't be able to survive if her landlord did not allow her to also sell items on the sidewalk in front of her building. Julie specializes in clothing from the 1920s and also has a very large selection of custom costumes, headpieces, and masks, which Julie designs herself using mostly recycled materials that she's collected from her years of traveling the world, working as a lingerie designer. Julie's Vintage also has an area in the back of the store for the resident tarot card reader. Hidden Up Video Games on East 3rd Street near 1st Avenue specializes in retro video games, vintage game consoles, and accessories for all systems, both old and new, from Nintendo, Sega, Sony, Microsoft, Atari, ColecoVision, Intellivision, Commodore, and more. While they do carry and repair new next-gen consoles and games, their focus is definitely on retro video games made before 2002, like PlayStation 2 and earlier. 
They also buy, sell, and repair arcade cabinets and super guns. Monk Vintage Thrift Shop is located on East 3rd Street near 1st Avenue. If you're willing to dig through its packed selection of jeans, shirts, shoes, dresses, pants, costume jewelry, various houseware items, and vinyl records, you may find something interesting and at a very reasonable price. They also have another location in Williamsburg on Driggs Avenue. Yona Schimmel Kanish Bakery, located on East Houston Street by Christie Street, has been in operation since 1910. The storefront and interior are original, including the signage, tin ceilings, tables, and the wood frame glass showcases for the Kanishes. Rabbi Yona Schimmel emigrated from Romania and started his own Kanish business by selling from a push cart in the Lower East Side until he opened this restaurant. The Kanish was developed by Eastern European Jews who wrapped dough around mashed potatoes or kasha, aka buckwheat groats, as a way of adding interest to an affordable but monotonous diet. The Kanish became very popular in the early 1900s because it was cheap and filling. Yona Schimmel is currently owned by Yona's great nephew, Alex Waltman, who uses the same original family recipe for the Kanishes which are made by hand and baked fresh every day in the brick ovens located in the basement of the shop. The freshly made knishes are brought up to the shop level by a vintage dumbwaiter. We love watching the dumbwaiter work. Yona Schimmel was featured in the 2009 Woody Allen film, Whatever Works, starring Larry David. Their knishes are favorite of many celebrities, including Barbara Streisand, Joan Rivers, Ron Howard, Martha Stewart, and Jackie Mason. Okay. Yes, one potato knish. Thank you. A knish a day keeps the doctor away.
We had such a great day exploring our own neighborhood of the East Village, visiting vintage shops with vinyl records, a retro video game store, and having a refreshing iced coffee from Mud Park before ending the day with a delicious knish from Yono Shimmel. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed our second tour of the East Village. Please hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. You can check out our first East Village tour by clicking the link. We'll be posting new videos weekly. Bye guys. Bye guys.